Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys how to customize your iPhone running iOS 16.1. How to get one of the most beautiful setups on your iPhone running iOS 16 and this not just looks good, but it's also really, really easy to make. I know you can go crazy with setups on iOS 16, but this one is pretty simple easy to create and of course it looks really beautiful so let me show you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to get this amazing setup on your iphone all right so the first step you want to do is of course set up the wallpaper now i have here two different wallpapers this one for the lock screen and i have the same on the home screen but it's night so right here you can see it's daytime and then it's nighttime right on the home screen. So I will leave, of course, these two wallpapers linked right down below in the description of the video. So you can go ahead and download them from your device. And now let's get started with the lock screen. So on the lock screen, what we have here at the top, we have, of course, widgets. So what we have here, these are widgets all from an app called Usage. Now what we have here are stati statistics that we need to know regarding our device. So we will have the battery percentage the RAM memory, the disk usage, and also the data usage right there. And we have also one at the top here. So right there you can see 12 days, 17 hours, 53 minutes. That's the uptime for the device. So the last time the device has been rebooted was 12 days ago. So these are very useful widgets in my opinion that will show you the state, the current state of your device and everything that's important to know regarding your device. The next item on the lock screen is this dock right here. Now this utilizes the new iOS 16.1 feature, live activities, which allows us to have live activities on the lock screen and via an app called Launcher, we now can have some of our favorite apps so that we can launch them directly from the lock screen. So consider this as being a as a second dock for your device. So you have it right there. And of course you can place your favorite apps right here. And this also of course allows you to open the apps directly from the lock screen without even needing to go into your device. Now, let me show you guys how to set this up. First of all, let me just show you that this works. So you tap on Twitter right there, of course, it will open Twitter. Now, the way this works, you go into the app. This is the app right here, of course, it will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Now, from here, you can add the apps. So you just tap add action. And here you can just go ahead and go to like, here and just choose any app you want. You will have system like settings. If you want to add them, you will have hot apps, Apple apps, and all the different apps that are featured right here. Or you can go ahead and search for any app you want there. Once you have added the app, it will show on this list right here. Of course, once you have added the app, you can also delete it or just remove it from here. And then once you're ready to go, you can just tap right there on that island. Make sure you have this enabled choose here how many apps you want to see on the lock screen and then just tap the done button and you're good to go this will now go into the live activities and also if you have an iphone 14 pro or 14 pro max it will show that on the dynamic island but you can quickly remove that simply by swiping from the left to the right and just like that you will have a second dock on the lock screen of your ios 16 device moving on to the home screen now this is the setup that we have on the home screen only one page it looks really really nice and simple so we have a widget right there from widget which is a really awesome apps when it comes to home screen widgets and then we have here a theme called lotus which you can install from from an app called next icon which of course will be linked right down below in the description as well i will show you guys how to do that as well so first of all let's start from the top here from the widget so you add the wallpaper that of course will be linked in the description once you have added the wallpaper you can go ahead and add this widget right here so the widget can be installed again from widget so you go into this app called widget which will be linked also in the description of the video all you have to do is tap on the explore button right there and you will find this right here so just go ahead and scroll down here and there is that one right there this is the widget that we're using just make sure you go ahead and add it to widget and then of course place it on your home screen now you can see right here we have a transparent look on the widget the way that works simply head on to the edit mode and just swipe right here to a page where there are no icons of course except the dock icons take a screenshot right there once you have done that you go back into widget 
and you go to manage here and tap on set transparent background and just tap here and load the screenshot you just took and you're good to go now you can have a transparent background on your widget so that's it for the widget but it gets better you can see the widget it's very nice and clean but if you want to have an, an even cleaner look what you can do is just swipe like this now you can see it's completely gone and you just have the wallpaper and the icons on the home screen that looks really nice anytime you want to bring back the widget just swipe like that now that can be achieved pretty easily actually so you go ahead and install this app right here and what you need to do is again take a screenshot or just use the same sc screenshot that you used for widget to actually have that transparent background and just make sure you load it here and here once you have loaded that all you have to do is just come here and make sure you add the widget from that app add the bigger one and just stack it on top of the widget and then you can just simply swipe like this to actually just hide the widget completely and you can see that app is basically with transparent widgets and it doesn't actually have a name at all so when you swipe like this to bring the widget from that app it doesn't have a name here so it looks really really nice and clean and now let me show you guys how to install the theme on your device now the theme is very easy to install you can install all icons at once and they actually work so first of all head on to this app called next icon which i will leave linked right down below in the description of the video once you're on the app this is what you will see right here you will have a bunch of different themes that you can install on your device once you have found the theme that you like all you have to do is tap on the theme and then from here tap on install this will take you to this page where you can tap on install icons so tap right there it will download a profile to your device so you tap allow here and tap close and now you need to head on to the settings app just go into the settings app and you will find the profile at the top of your settings app tap on install right here tap install once again and tap install if you have a passcode on your device it will require you the passcode and here you can see we have already installed the theme this new theme that we just installed of course we can use this and anytime you want to remove a theme it's very easy to do you just do basically the reverse so go ahead and just remove the profile from your device so you just head on to your settings go to general right here go to vpn and device management from here just find the profile you just installed this one right here remove it tap remove and now you can see it will remove all the icons at once so we have a very nice and clean look here and as i told you guys these icons do actually work so if i tap on messages it will actually open the messages app it has that like transition that you see right there but we can fix that pretty easily all you have to do is just head on to your settings app go under accessibility and then scroll all the way down to per app settings go to home screen right here and all you have to do now is just go ahead and enable reduce motion turn reduce motion on and this will turn it on only for the home screen of your device and now you will see when we open the same app it won't have that transition you can see how cool that is and how easy it works now the last touch that i did here on the home screen because this is a only one page setup I don't have any other pages here just this one i did actually also remove the search button here that that works for the spotlight you can do that simply again by going to settings you can just go ahead and remove that pretty easily if you want to have a cleaner look just go to settings home screen and make sure disable show on home screen of course you can still access the spotlight search simply by swiping down but this way you will have a much nicer and cleaner look on your device so that's basically it for this video guys this is how you can create this amazing and simple setup on the home screen of your ios 16.1 device hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to create this, all the links that you need will be linked right down below in the description of the video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and I'll see you on the next one.